visit our sponsor, Earthcom, right now. Click the link below. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green, and you're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is, of course, Wednesday, April 16th, 2014. And I wanted to touch on the Cliven Bundy standoff once again. I've done several videos on it, uh, which you can check our archives on YouTube or our website, amtvmedia.com. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. All we need is an email address, and of course, you'll be updated with all of our new and exclusive content. But Mr. Cliven Bundy here, which I've done two videos, one titled The Ranch War, uh, The Cliven Bundy Standoff in Nevada, constitutional showdown, and a second video titled Bundy Ranch PSYOP, uh, how this is being used as an NSA surveillance tactic. Now, first off, before I begin this video, most of you already know I, I support Bundy and his plight. I support Cliven Bundy, um, and I think it's a good thing uh, that this has awoken so many freedom fighters and liberty lovers, not just here in the States, but around the world. But I also want to speak freely, and I want to also alert you to the dangers uh, that are potentially lurking here uh, with the Cliven Bundy Ranch standoff, which is still ongoing, militia members still on site, and the many more to come in the not-too-distant future. Because again, this war on the West, folks, has just begun. And this is part of a much deeper issue that's been picking away in America over the past several years, arguably the past several decades. And it's a very dangerous situation. Now, this could very well lead, the Cliven Bundy standoff could very well lead and help to catalyze uh, the second American revolution in this country. This is how big of a flashpoint that this event is. Um, many Americans, millions of Americans, can openly and freely and easily identify with Cliven Bundy. I mean, it's not, you can't get any more American than this guy. You know, here he is, he's got a cowboy hat on, he's a rancher, uh, he's been uh, herding cattle on hundreds of acres through generations, uh, roots dating all the way back to the 1800s uh, in his Mormon ancestry. Uh, somebody who loves this country and is not going to take it anymore from a authoritarian federal government that wants his land, key players like Harry Reid, Senator Harry Reid out of Nevada, that want his land so that basically they can line the pockets of his constituents, whether or not this is a Chinese solar firm, uh, as Infowars broke uh, last weekend, or it's any other number of businesses uh, that Harry Reid is trying to fund, and it's bigger than Harry Reid. This, this is coming from a federal government level. Uh, again, something that our founding fathers warned us of, that at some point the federal government would become all too powerful, all too controlling, uh, and all too Orwellian, which is exactly the case today. But I also want you to understand the dangers involved with the Bundy standoff itself. And I want you to think about it from the perspective of the NSA, the CIA, the FBI, the federal government, and the status-controlled mainstream media. That very likely has every intention, if this was not already pre-planned before, not only to use this as a PSYOP, as part of a larger intelligence gathering operation, so they can identify the key players, identify the militia members, identify those in the alternative media, uh, in the mainstream media, uh, and, and to measure uh, accurately the resistance uh, to something like this. Now again, this Cliven Bundy standoff is just an one ominous example of what's yet to come here to the United States. Not just in Nevada, but all over the country. Again, this war on the West has just started. Uh, this is just the beginning, and it could very easily catalyze uh, into the Second American Revolution, and it could also catalyze a much larger tragedy. Now, thinking about this from the perspective of the state, uh, from the federal government, the NSA, the CIA, the FBI, uh, they would have every motivation to not only gather data, but to use this against the liberty and libertarian movement, 
uh, the freedom movement and constitutionalists everywhere. And let me give you an example. Thankfully, the Bureau of Land Management backed off this weekend. Uh, they cited that uh, the danger levels were elevated. Uh, they were very fearful that uh, the uh, event and confrontation could erupt to violence, that there could potentially be bloodshed. Uh, many of the militia members on site have openly uh, called for and openly said that they would defend uh, Clive and Bundy's ranch, which is completely and utterly American, but that there would be bloodshed if need be, if the Bureau of Land Management uh, were to act. Now, from the status perspective, they would love it if the liberty or libertarian or freedom or constitutionalist movement was the first to act, even if they staged the act themselves and put a constitutional plant or you know a, a libertarian plant within the militia itself. They would love it if the libertarian party, God forbid, fired first because they could totally position this standoff in favor of the statist agenda, in favor of totalitarian leaders like Harry Reid. Uh, and the president. And the mainstream media could build a very aggressive narrative around this. Now, we're already seeing this from the liberal left mainstream media positioning Cliven Bundy. I mean, literally, I've read articles saying that he's anti-constitutional, um, that he should go to jail, uh, that he should have to pay the fines, that he should have to bear the brunt of the consequences of defending his personal property, which is crazy. But this is this is the same mentality we had during the Civil War in this country, the North versus the South, uh, with the North statist agenda at the time really hating and reviling and building a narrative attacking uh, the South uh, and the Confederacy. And they're doing the same thing, and they have every motive to do the same thing, uh, in, in this case today in 2014. So we need to understand, all of us within the liberty movement, we all need to understand the inherent risks and the dangers involved with this standoff. That it could very likely and could already have been in the works be used as a flashpoint to where the statist agenda can position the liberty movement in a negative light. They can position uh, activists, constitutionalists, militia members as what they always call uh, this group in the mainstream media as right-wing, you know, God-fearing uh, whack jobs, tinfoil hat. I mean, that, that's how the picture is painted. And they would love for uh, it. They would love to be able to craft that same narrative regarding. Uh, this specific standoff. So, again, I just want to emphasize to all of you um, that this is a very dangerous situation and it needs to be treaded carefully. And it's very important uh, that although the Liberty Movement is willing and some of the militia members who have been interviewed have said they're willing to die for Clive and Bundy and to protect his ranch uh, and to stand up for what they believe in, also need to recognize that they are also acting and speaking on behalf of the liberty movement itself. And that's a very dangerous position to be in. Again, uh, point being, it would be very easy for the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, uh, the federal government, uh, any of these agencies to put a plant, to place somebody on the inside, and I guarantee there's people already on the inside uh, that those at the ranch right now think are friends of the liberty movement, but are actual government plants. Not only gathering intelligence uh, and feeding that information as an informant back to the you know Federal Bureau of Investigation, uh, but also could be positioned by the federal government uh, to create a event, a flashpoint, where it would appear... Uh, in physical form that the liberty movement itself was the one to act and incite the violence first. And again, it's very important that all of those involved understand and realize that it's, it's extremely important that the liberty movement doesn't fire first, uh, so to speak. Also, a couple things I wanted to point out. And, you know, I've got to congratulate InfoWars. They did an incredible job covering this story. i got to congratulate uh, the alternative media in general. I think they've done a great job. I've got to congratulate all of you tuning in, all of those of you around the world that support Clive and Bundy, as do I. I've got to congratulate you 
uh, for your support. But I wanted to point out that notice the two largest personalities in the alternative media spectrum, namely Glenn Beck. Uh, several of the militia members have even mentioned him by name as, as, as one of the reasons they're there at the ranch defending Clive and Bundy uh, and his plight as I speak, as I deliver this video to you. The biggest brand names in the alternative media, Glenn Beck, a guy who, by the way, made over $100 million last year uh, and has a massive audience, uh, is not here at this ranch in physical form. Um, nor is Alex Jones. Now, of course, InfoWars that broke a lot of this story was on the ground. And again, I'm not deterring from what they're doing. Uh, I am just pointing out that there's a reason Glenn Beck and there's a reason Alex Jones himself have not been personally, physically at this ranch. And I think it's telling and it's something we should think about. Again, this is not a personal attack at any of those guys' character or, or anything like that at all. But I'm pointing something out. Because the likely reason they're not there is because they understand the dangers involved with this standoff. Again, if Glenn Beck showed up today, and who knows, maybe he's on his way. Maybe Alex Jones is on his way. Maybe they're actually going to stand with the militia members. Who knows? I certainly don't. But the fact that they're not there tells you something about this event. Tells you something um, about uh, this crisis. And it is a crisis. And I believe that both of these individuals understand clearly how dangerous this is. Um, not just for themselves, uh, physically, uh, but physically for the United States, uh, the liberty movement, etc. And there's a reason they're probably not drawing more attention to it. And again, I want to point out that this is just the beginning, and it's much bigger uh, than Cliven Bundy. You know, if the liberty movement um, can think critically, and it's, it's one of the best things that I think all of us do, uh, within the movement and can also take the perspective uh, in view of the enemy. Again, know, know thy enemy uh, better than you know yourself. Keep your enemies close, closer than your own friends. Understand the motives uh, behind the statist, statist agenda, uh, the motive of big government, the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, these intelligence agencies, and understand how they are actively, if not have already pre-planned this as a psyop to use this against the liberty movement itself. Again, we have to tread water carefully here. And we have to make sure that the narrative, the truth, the truth narrative, accurately portrays liberty lovers everywhere. And those that support Clive and Bundy, as you I, are portrayed uh, in the correct light that the truth is portrayed, that constitutionalists, liberty lovers, and it's bigger than right or left or left or right, that just Americans in general, the good people of America and those of you that support liberty and freedom around the world, are portrayed in a positive light regarding this situation. Because again, the government, this totalitarian regime, the Obama administration, Harry Reid, and the Global intelligence agencies at large, especially here in the United States, have every motive and intent to paint a negative light on Clive and Bundy, to destroy the liberty movement itself, to destroy uh, this rise of constitutionalism, of old American values, of freedom, and of this flag here that we all revere. And we must tread carefully. And we must be and we have to act smartly. And we also need to understand the potential dangers. Uh, we need to question those around us, uh, those of you at the ranch, those of you militia members there, uh, actively defending Clive and Bundy, I applaud you. But also, uh, be on your toes and question everyone around you. Question the intentions of everyone around you. Uh, if something doesn't feel right or smell right or there's an individual there and it just doesn't seem to make sense, you know, Point it out uh, to the others around you because there is very likely a plant or two or maybe more within this community right now as we speak. And again, I'm not pointing this out to scare anybody. I'm not pointing this out to criticize anyone, anything, or any group in particular. I'm putting it out there because I know 
uh, as many of you do tuning in, just how dangerous this standoff really is. Get it out everywhere. I'm Christopher Green, hard-hitting and in your face, and click the link below to support our sponsor.